G'day fellows, welcome to episode 105 of G Hallows Beer Reviews. Today I'm reviewing Adnam's Broadside Ale. Uh, it's uh, relating to the Battle of Sol Bay in 1672. It's a, a bit of a memory of that, that's why this was brewed. Uh, I believe it was first brewed in 1972, so it must have been an anniversary beer. Um, yes, yeah, so it's brewed in England. Uh, as you can see, this is a 500 ml, well, you can't see that, but a 500 milliliter bottle, and it comes in at 6.3% alcohol by volume. Uh, I've got it, or I've had it out of the fridge for a little bit, just trying to warm it up. Being an ale, I didn't want it too chilled, um, so that's why there's a bit of condensation on the bottle. Um, there's a bit, a bit of a story at the back about the battle in the beer itself. Um, yeah, pretty run of the mill though. But uh, it looks good. Online it's got a few good reviews, so we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> I don't know what my camera's doing there. Anyway, sorry about that. A bit of a bit of lighting issue or something going on. But anyway, we'll um, continue with this. I've just got your traditional English pint glass here. Let's get up to the top. It's poured with a nice head. I think it's got something to do with the uh, skylight I've got on when, I co when I'm covering up the uh, that angle with the camera's going funny, so I'll try and move away from that, so I'm not doing that. All right, as for the beer, getting back to that, looking good. There's uh, just under two fingers of head. It's a beautiful dark. Well, in the light, it's like a real dark ruby color. Out of the light, it's uh, almost black. You can't even see through it. For the smell. Yeah, I'm getting a beautiful bready smell. Um, yeah, that camera's uh, annoying me a bit now, but I've started now. I can see it flicking on and off. Sorry, you can still see what I'm doing, but I'll try and fix it for the next one. Uh, as for the smell, I've got a bit of foam on my nose. Yeah, back to it. Very malty, bready. Mm, a little bit of a hop smell in the back background there, but yeah. Overly malty, very nice malty smell. All right, now for the taste test. Oh, there it goes again. Yeah, it's something to do with that. Anyway, I'll keep going. All right, for the taste test, cheers. Yeah, that's a nice ale. It's got a real nice roasted malty taste. You can tell by the color. Obviously, it's got roasted malts in it. Um, it is quite bitter as well. There's a nice bitterness, bitterness lingering on my tongue after the first sip. Uh, yeah, really, really delicious, full of flavour. Yeah, first up you're getting a nice roasted malty, sort of like a brown bread sort of uh, taste. And then a nice bitterness, uh, obviously from the hopping that's lingering at the end. Um, yeah, really nice beer, really good. All right, and saying that, what would I give it? For a score. Adnam's Broadside. Uh, yeah, really nice. I, I, I like it. As I said online, it's got pretty good reviews. Well, more than pretty good. Um, yeah, not a bad brew. So, a score. I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 if you like this style. Uh, in saying that, it's not everyone's style because these beers are quite strong. Um, yeah, and every, not everyone likes this sort of flavour, but if you like your stouts and your dark ales, that sort of thing, I think you'll lap this up. All right, cheers. Nine out of ten for this. Adnams. Go and pick it up, fellas. Well, it was good to talk to you again, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.